guys, it has been a while since I've done a video for this channel, since I've done anything on crown and beauty, um, and today's a special day. Today is a special day because today is two years since I wrote Crowned in Beauty, <laughs> a devotional of songs and the testimonies that inspire them. And I tell you what, a lot has happened in these past two years. I wrote this book, released it, self-published in uh, September 19th of 2019. Um, this song, this song, this book here has five songs that I've written about. And, and through um, the songs, you'll learn more about my testimony and the uh, stories behind them. So um, this is a very short read, 95 pages. Um, you'll find some lyrics in here. Um, here we go, you'll find some lyrics in here. Um, there's scripture that I share. There's also a, a short little devotionals um, at the end of each chapter, five chapters, very quick read, 95 pages. You could read this or hey, how about you go to audio, Audible and get the audiobook version in two hours of just me reading to you and singing to you and um, learning about Jesus and hanging out with him, um, which is always, always encouraging. I started this ministry, Crowned in Beauty, um, after I wrote this book. And so Crowned in Beauty is the devotional that inspired me. See, this is a devotional, right? It says it right here, devotional songs and the testimonies that inspired them. <laughs> and so this book actually inspired me to start this ministry, Crowned in Beauty. And Crowned in Beauty is just um, a new project that the Lord has on my heart, um, inspiring you to pick up your beauty for ashes with simple biblical truths, testimonies, and everyday life based on Isaiah 61.3, where God, right, he, he tells Israel through Isaiah, I will give them to give you, right, the oil of joy and replace that with the oil of joy and take away your mourning, take away the ashes and give you beauty. And so I was inspired to continue on with this name, Crowned in Beauty. And with that said, um, we're just doing what the Lord asks us to do, tells us to do, commands me to do. So I hope that you are encouraged each and every time that you um, listen to the podcast, which I started um, right after I had my baby, cause you know, you got to do more stuff when you have a newborn, which makes no sense, but God put me, put that on my heart to start. And so I started crowning beauty as a podcast and then we ventured off into new things. And now my next new project, which I am just excited about, um, is a labor of love. Everything that I do, um, I pour my heart into it. And um, it really is an extension of my love and just sharing the Father's grace um, in my life and inspiring you, hoping that you and um, whoever reads the books that I write, the projects, the podcasts, um, will be encouraged to dig deeper. So with that said, um, today's another special day because this book right here, <laughs> The Horse by the Tree is my first children's book available in paperback and you will have the link on Friday. Yes, um, you'll be able to get it on Amazon on paperback on Friday. And I'm still waiting on some other um, loose ends that I'm still tying up so that you can actually order a hardcover book, which is what I'm like really excited because I'm the kind of person that I love to have a book in my hand, right? And then you can smell it, you can take it with you. Um, you can share, you know, just listening to the pages um, as you're reading. Um, this book is about a horse named Willow um, who gets tied up by a tree by his Abba, right? His owner, Abba, his farmer master. <laughs> um, and in the, in the book, his name is Abba. And so Willow gets tied up by a tree um, every day and he begins to question um, himself and get discouraged as to why he's always tied up by this tree and it's not until Mr. Flight right there that little yellow bird comes by and in encourages him and reminds him of just how much he is loved um, and, and inspires him to rejoice. So this is just a cute little um, children's book, my first children's book. It is about the love of the father. It is about the love and the importance of friendship and encouragement and rejoicing and seeing the best in others, no matter what situation um, we find ourselves in. So I hope that you are encouraged um, by this little story 
story here. And I hope that you have um, written down on your calendar uh, the release date, which will be this coming Friday, which I don't even know the date. Um, let me do that real quick. So excited, almost dropped my iPad. September 24th, <laughs> September 24th is when you will have the Horse by the Tree available in paperback through Amazon. So excited. Here we've got um, the Horse by the Tree, which is actually, I forgot to share, an extension of crowned in beauty so ellie books is the new publishing uh, company that i have started it's an it's a subdivision or a division of crown and beauty where i will be specializing in children's books inspiring encouraging and um reminding them right about the importance of biblical foundations so i hope that you go pick up this book um if you don't know this book yet, here it is again, Crown and Beauty, a devotional of songs and the testimonies that inspire them. And this Friday, The Horse by the Tree um, by Ellie Books. So guys, um, thank you so much for following me on this journey, for always encouraging me. I'm always encouraged by your, your feedback, your messages, um, and just reaching out to me and rooting me on. And um, I hope you guys have a blessed day and we will talk soon.